job and so I've been training and adjusting to a new schedule um, I, I'm hoping to still get these videos out um, I just wanted to pause interrupt uh, and let you know for a second uh, why uh, the this last video has taken a while I actually have quite a few stocked up um, since I last edited um, but um, I'm hoping to make them more consistent. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to go talk to Natty. Uh, not sure what's going on there, but then after that we have astronomy class to go take. Uh, and then uh, we'll see where the rest of the episode takes us. But yeah, I hope you're excited. Smash that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Let's jump into it. I was really worried for a second that Ominous was going to be right outside. I don't know how I feel about that guy. He gives me the heebie-jeebies. He's mean. I'm running the wrong direction. Whoa! I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school it's for Zenobia's gobstones. Decorated for Halloween. I was not expecting this. That is really cool. Oh, I'm glad I ran. This is my first time running through here. That is really cool. A side quest there. Sure, I'll talk to you. What do you want? Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Oh, did I? Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. I don't remember oh, an owl. Dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. Is he? Okay. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business oh, now travels. He's gone missing. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins. Okay. Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since uh, that owl, yeah, and I'm worried. He's gone missing. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Yeah, you should. I should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? You should be worried about your uncle. I would be worried. <laughs> I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. Oh my She's God. convinced he can handle himself. But I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. You're gonna I... make me come with you. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He's probably dead. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I take it you and your uncle are close? We are. My mother died when I was born. And I lost my father when I was five. Uncle sure. Rollins looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls. To let me know that he's all right. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record-keeping. Notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. If he's alive, oh, Uncle Roland, what bet someone already uh, played this in uh, dark arts mode and uh, killed him as soon as they found him. I'm very well, worried. 
I said that we would see where this uh, past the river. episode took us, um, and we're gonna go find uh, Roland's campsite first. Um, it's not really on the way to Natty, but it's not too far. So, with it being a side quest and all, I don't imagine it'll take terribly long. But let's be real. He dead. Or kidnapped. Or probably dead. Or good as a metal trader if you kidnap him. Could this be Mr. Oaks's campsite? Oh hey, I've been here before. I was here off screen a little bit before the quest, so um there was not really much to do. Randrock's loyalists, just ahead. Should I take them by force or be discreet? Yes. Petrified. There, I could just throw that fire barrel at you. Or I just think of an idea. Okay. Fire barrel it is. I was back. The tell you're dead. Arrest the momentum. Put that on. Stupid. Expel the office. One more than I thought there was. He saw me. Yeah, I've already looted that. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. Ran Rock's Law agreed to meet, but I do feel a tad uneasy. They amended their requests and were angry when I asked questions. I overheard some of their plan in gobbledygook. They, they're after my rare metal deposits that are suitable for drilling. I'm afraid of upsetting them further. They seem rather volatile. I need this transaction to happen. Perhaps we can work out a compromise. Perhaps not. Roland. Interesting. We have another. We have a map. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Okay, down Perhaps the river. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Okay. All right. Give that a shot. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. Where? Revelio. Well, that seems like it's a call. Good for Fringo. Fringo. But really quickly, there were some mushrooms over here. That oh no, not mushrooms. Darn, wish they were mushrooms. Okay, what's in what's in here? What's past the wall? I should investigate. Revelio. Oh, there's a big chest. I like chests. Do you got gold for me? Oh, no, but you got a face item. Do I have legendary glasses? That would be nice. 
There's more enemies up top. Hey, look at that. We got more mushrooms up here. This stuff's important. Lumos. Get away from me. I've already looted this, but we're gonna go see. Yep, already looted. Goodbye. Okay. Lumos. Ouch! Why'd you do that to me? That wasn't very nice. Okay. So, Roland's map. Let's take a look at it. Inventory. Ah, here it is. View. Okay. So the campsite, we want to leave the campsite and turn to the right. Head down the river, we'll pass some cliffs, cliff and a tree, pass some ruins, and then cross the river. Okay. That should be easy enough to follow. Okay, there's the river. <laughs> The cliff face. Rock formation. It's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. Well, we just continue this way. And we should have the tree coming off of a rock face right there. A crooked tree, just as the map said. Crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. Dark Mongrel, where are you? Aha, uh -huh, there you are. Let me also. Confringo! You can't take me, Dark Mongrel. Sorry. Okay. Keep going this way. Those? Those are goblins over this way. Hey, we got another pool we can jump into. We're gonna do it. Running along the path, we should find the broken tower or ruins, whatever it is, along the path somewhere. Another Merlin trial up here. Oh, is that it? That's it. And the crumbling tower. Okay. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. 
But uh, before we do that, we're gonna quickly do this. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Merlin's trial. We got a Where's the third one? Cause I'm sure there's three. Yeah, we got the one there. We got one up there. Confringo! Ah, there's another one in here. Himself would be proud. All right, another Merlin trial complete. What's that? Who's there? No one. What do we have here? I'm hidden. You can't see. Goblin down. Where are the others? Is there a secret entrance over here? I feel like there should be. Yeah. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Circles. <laughs> He's just spinning around. Sounds like a troll. Okay. Someone didn't show themselves.
Well, I don't have to deal with you at the moment. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. You dropped some gold for me. Okay. Um, Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. What went on here, I wonder? Uh, but, okay, um, I'm gonna go take care of the guys down below first, because I don't imagine I necessarily want to leave them. Uh, and. Oh. Come on, get the ladder, get the, or jump. Jump is fine. That's fine. We'll search this chest. They don't know we're here yet. Uh, and we'll make it obvious. Oh. Oh. Huh? yourself if, if you're there. Oh. I showed my. I didn't hide. What do you mean, show yourself? If you're there, I was there all the time. Okay. Um, let's go see what this is about, because I think we're going to have to fight this troll. Um, and I saw a, uh, dueling feats flip a troll's club into its face, but every time I've tried to disarm a troll, I've not been able to do it. Maybe we're not fighting that troll. I thought we were going to fight that troll. What will we find in here? I don't know. Probably where they're trying to drill. Maybe Roland? We gonna find some Roland? Got a ranger. Warrior. Looks like we only got. Revelio. Looks like we only got three enemies. Someone there. Is somebody there? Right by. That intruder. Okay, I guess I'm coming up there. How do I get up there, bud? Oh wait, I can freeze you. Oh. Oh, I missed. Wrong one. Oh hey, you fell down. Oh, oh, you're back up there. That was magic. That's what I meant to do. And now I can do this. And I can do that. spot on. Okay. We got a lock here. Level one. I can do that. Hello, Hamora. Is that how I get up there? Probably, right? Is this a dead end then? This is a dead end. I want to see what loot is over here. It doesn't look like it's a dead end. But if this other area is a dead end, we'll come back this way. Or if 
it's not the come back one, but oh. Frank Expedios You've won last follower, Ranrock. This time it's one. Last time you said it was two. You counted correctly. Yay. Okay. There's a chest up here. We got a cap. So that was a dead end. Let's go this way now. Oh, we got a secret. I almost missed it. Ooh, a secret that goes two ways. More chests. Another hat. It's a green hat, though. I don't think I want the green hat. Dora. There's a lot of goblins in here. Wizards. This is the way I see. Hey, that's gold. We like that. Some kind of fire spell. No on you. witch or wizard will be spared. That's mean. I'm gonna take care of you, sir. Oh, you body fell. A boiler door. How to open it? With steam. Oh, don't want to see. If only I could get my hands on fig or that. Get your hands on nothing. Not while I'm around. Oh. 
Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. Woo! Petrificus Totalis, there's no one there. Petrificus Totalis! He's dead. Okay. Now, is there anything I missed in this room? Any chests or whatnot? No, got you. Okay. That was not bad. Okay, this... <laughs> able to climb back up there. Okay, we'll go around. Going around. Pretty sure to get into that door. We can bring up that on fire. Revelio. Confirm. Oh, fancy. We got a secret chest room. Got some potions. Those are nice. Got some gold. Okay. And then there was another room this way. That might be a dead end as well. Or I assume probably is, because he's behind that. Boiler door? The fancy door? That's gotta be the way forward, right? Maybe not. Let's go check out that door first. Maybe it's not the way forward. Oh, we have something back there. Is that just... That does not connect to here. Another secret chest room. Nothing too great in it, though. Okay, this door. Open. That's a big fancy door. Oh boy. Oh damn. Ah. That's a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> I kind of just feel like going at this gun's blazing. <laughs> Let's do it. Do you think this is fun? This is almost too easy.
Expelliarmus. I've been fighting since before they were born. Have you now? Arrest them and I'll teach you nothing about Julie. Linda, I won't rest. Place it. Incendium. You can't stop us. Ooh. That was a good hit. Stupid one. Best you can do. Confringo. Ooh, that hurt. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. And mine. And my hands. Well, mostly Ranrock's. Your gold, though. Your gold is definitely in my hands. And your clothes, apparently. Hey, that's a sleek sorcerer hat. Revelio. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's more loot this way. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Oh, I gotta get his wand. Okay. So he's definitely. A little further back, um, that other direction, and we needed to come in here to get his wand. Is there anything else in here? Revelio. Can you get up there? Oh wait, there's stairs. We can take the stairs. Fancy stuff like that. Lots of hidden rooms with chests in this in this place. Okay. Now, hey, gold emeralds. Now let's take care of the ones down here. Oh boy. Um, yeah, we're let just going to run blazing again. We're going up last time. Expelliarmus! By a barrel. Not quite. Levioso. <laughs> Taken out by your own axe. He is alive. Why'd they keep him alive? Doesn't make much sense. Silver spike. Okay, 
say that's where he is. Oh, great. Um, wonder if his head's in one of those. Probably. There's another empty one. Yeah, okay. Hello, Roland, Hello. sir. Mr. Oaks. Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Pass me my wand. I can't get out of this damn cell without it. It's my last hope. Please. My wand. This is a weird situation. They, they left you with your hat? You did it! Oh, you found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. No, I... It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, They're all gone you're either now. very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Dummy. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. I found plenty of gold, though. You mentioned you overheard things. Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Don't know if traveling real far is uh, that great of a Mr. plan. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. Wait. Oh, okay. He's gone again. He was here and then he's gone. I was like... What is this? What is this magic? Okay. Done that. Now let's get out of here. Okay, I did a little bit of inventory management. Um, and I changed my gear around a little bit. Obviously not the appearance. I changed that back kept the appearance the same uh, but now we are heading over to Natty to see what's going on with her nice. we got a kitty
Oh, and Fury. Couldn't find that big pair of you. Expel the armors. Levioso. Couldn't bring up. Incendio. Incendio. Glacius. Depulsor. Flipendo. Arrest the momentum. Flipendo. Nice, nice, nice. Chest here. Feels like that should open. Okay. More stench of death. Can't figure out why there's such a fuss over- This is utter nonsense. Oh, I've never heard such rubbish in all my life. I should think I get more sense out of mooncalf dung. Arrest the momentum. Flipendo. No! Predator. Stupid one. Expelliarmus. Yeah. Stupid one. Nothing good. That's mine. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I say Billy Wings Stupid. is thing. Oh. Arrest the momentum. Yeah. Stupid break. Defendo. Expelling arms. Stupid. 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 Hamora. We'll get you out of there. Uh, gotcha. Here. Why don't you why don't you come with me? Or you can accidentally drink that potion. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Are there any other trap beasts? <laughs> Rebellion! I'm glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Lassie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. Okay. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down, for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Halo here and why I wrote Wait. to you. I need your help to retrieve it. You want us to take on Rookwood and Harlow right now? You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. 
I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. Is, it's a long story. I feel like when I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. All right. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow yeah. is here after all. Off on another adventure, are we? That did it. My guardian Levioso. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. I saw that there was another one of those levers to push. Oh. Dead end. Must be another way in. Oh, but we can. Spell it on us. No. Nope. Guardian Leviosa. Looks as if it might raise the gate. I knew you could enough. do it. This way. I will get the door. That wasn't very stealthy, though. Um, I feel like they would know if that gate came up like that. Just the same. Um, <laughs> she want us to be stealthy? That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Oh, hippogriff! We're gonna save that hippogriff. That's gonna be our mounting. Oh. High wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Oh, that's high wing. Oh, that's so sad. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Blasted! 
There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. The feeling she won't, but... Let's bring that a little closer. I don't know if that was a good choice. Or if we'll need that or something. It was a bad choice. We wanted to send it flying. Depulsive. We want it down. There we go. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Not the safest place to sneak into. Who says crime doesn't pay? Confirm. Bye bye. Ooh, that fall had to hurt. Ouch. Should have cast the rest of momentum on yourself. Alohomora. Natty's having an easier time of it. A little too long. Need to find more of the uh, statues. You're going home in a wooden box! Is that you, Roylance? Who's this Can you? you? Off. 
You know, if they're gonna fight, fight, I love her more. fight on high places, they really gotta learn how to stop themselves from falling. I ain't killing. She just fell. Hi, Wing. Hi, Wing. It's all right. There oh, we there's go. another one. Oh, there you are. We're not unlocking. Come on. A lot more. Okay. Hurry. Come on, get on. The Hogwarts Express must be returning from an unscheduled run. Nice. We're following the Hogwarts Express on hippogriffs. Incredible, isn't it? Oh, you can touch the water. Exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Oh, yeah. Were you, you did, able to huh? find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. Oh, my God. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of yeah, course. You're acting all cool and like. What did the letter say? He could have killed that Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. She got Hippogriff Mount too. Astronomy time. 
I actually honestly really love astronomy. And your life. reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Oh, you wimp. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Put on some clothes. Dismissed. You're fine. It's not that cold out. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's yep. only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something he wants to talk to me about? Okay. Let's go. Stargazing is long. The perfect night for... Oh! I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunar scope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you it? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. <laughs> Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Yeah, that's fair. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? Let's do it. I was starting to expect this to be a real short mission. And class ended so quickly. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. 
is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Where Happy to be here. It is good you. to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Yeah, they are. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? Okay. If you're sure. We going this way? Is door open? Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. Yes. Tidy, as I expected. Revelio. Confringo. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, probably. Oh, no. Not this close to school, I meet. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. That feels like it's definitely the biggest one. I guess I can look further around. No, that... Ah. Stargazing is all about patience and precision. Oh, we got a zoom too. Okay. Ah, okay, that that's helpful. Okay. Just figuring it out. Zoom out. Nope. Zoom in a little further. Boom. We got it. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. <laughs> I like Amit. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. He's a nerd and I find him funny. He humors me. Okay, that's where we're going to call an episode, I think. I think it might have been a little bit of a long one, but I hope you enjoyed. And I'm excited to see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.